After a pressure drop that the Lethbridge North County Potable Water Co-op noticed on July 4th, the goal was to find the problem. Levels were practically non-existent for about 24 hours and then shot back up and that's when officials knew something was off. The moment it came back up, you knew that there was some intentionality. Yes, yes, and especially over the ensuing days as we began to isolate the problem, uh, it, it was clear that uh, it was not a... It was not a leak, it was in fact a tampering issue. It was the only thing that could explain the, uh, the swings in pressure that we had been experiencing. The boil water order for the area north of the Old Man River between highways 25 and 845 was in effect from July 5th until the morning of July 17th, once water was determined to safe for consumption. As for the tampering issue, the individual responsible still hasn't been identified. It appeared like I'd, I'd get uh, going down a track and isolating and then all of a sudden the problem would go away. So what we surmised was that we had people either watching my whereabouts or uh, just trying to figure out, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to take water for five hours and no more and then I'm going to turn it off again. So it made uh, trying to find the source of the tamper extremely difficult. Penalties for the first offense in water tampering include termination of water services for six months and a $500 fine. The co-op has continued to see random drops in pressure since the initial act. For Bridge City News, I'm Ben Matichuk.